Globally, we're trying to increase breastfeeding rates. The United States has the lowest breastfeeding rates in the world. We are trying to increase how long we breastfeed for because it is impacting the health of Americans. We look at other countries and we look at their overall health and it is much better than ours here in the United States. We've researched it over the last about 40 to 50 years now and we're realizing a lot of it begins at birth. It's when we're growing the fastest as human beings and so we should absolutely have the cleanest source of nutrition for ourselves to multiply and grow and be the healthiest they can for longevity of life. So as newborns, yes, many babies will thrive and if a mother can't lactate, which is rare, but if she cannot and we have to use formula, then we do and it's the second best form of nutrition. But if we have breast milk, it shows that those people, as they age, they age better. They have less diseases, their overall health is better, and they're able to recover. Their immune system is stronger. There's just so many levels. They say psychologically, emotionally, babies do better because they were in the womb and then they have this gradual transition into the world by being with their mother a lot. Because <laughs> breastfeeding is, you know, 8 to 12 hours a day after they're born. So it's the way we were biologically made is to breastfeed and it's just what we should be doing for our overall health.